I started out, oddly enough, um, working um, at a place that gave money to filmmakers. And we did a big, big, big event. And during that event, I realized that I knew how to make things happen. Um, and I was like, wow. And from there, I started producing special events for not-for-profits around New York City. So if you need a fundraiser, I would you know, put your fundraiser together. And I was, I was like 26 years old. I don't know. I just did it. <laughs> I liked it. Um, then I got hired by George Ween's Festival Productions. And that's where my real training began. I felt like at, there I got a master's in concert production and corporate sponsorship, as well as in jazz. <laughs> So I learned a lot. They let me do anything and everything I could. I flew around the country producing festivals, Benson and Hedges Blues, Mellon Jazz Festivals in Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, just Newport Jazz Festival I worked. I worked all the festivals, New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. As um, I came up as a production assistant and became a producer by the time I finished, I went on to um, produce Jazz at Lincoln Center. I was the first pr producer of Jazz at Lincoln Center with Wynton Marcellus. He was the artistic director. Um, and I produced that for five years. I helped him build the program. And then I went independent and uh, produced events around the country for different organizations. Evening concerts at the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. I, I created the empowerment seminars at the Essence Festival. I worked Essence. I would do the, the seminars during the day and then go work the Superdome at night. It was crazy. The National Black Arts Festival in Atlanta. I was their music producer for about six years. There's a venue here in New York called Aaron Davis Hall in Harlem, and I produced music for them for a while. Um, stuff like that. How do you keep up with that? And special projects with Cassandra Wilson. I also do a lot of projects, did a lot of projects with her. 